Welcome, everyone. Even the weather can't dampen my spirits, or yours, I'm sure. This is really a time to celebrate. And it has been since 1955 since we have built a library on this campus. And I'm very proud and very, very excited with this new beginning. All of us judge colleges on the quality of their faculty and the quality of the student body and on the quality and the commitment of the Board of Regents, all of the friends and the alumni. It would be impossible to attract fine scholars to our school without a library that would give, give them inspiration and knowledge, a fine, fine library. And now we are in the process, not just of breaking ground for a building, but of really today laying the foundation for a very, very important future for this college. Thank you all for being here to celebrate with us. And now I would like to call on Pastor Wold to lead us and to dedicate us in our mission. Thank you, Barbara. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we have come together to seek God's blessing as we set apart the ground for the building of a library. Let us pray. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, ruler of the universe. You fill the entire world with your presence. Your name is to be hallowed through all the earth. Bless all those who have worked or contributed to provide the site which today we set apart for this building. May this be a place where your glory dwells and where your way is revealed. May your gracious blessing descend like the dew from heaven on this place and upon all who gather here. In you, every good work has its beginning. Grant that what we have undertaken this day to the glory of your name may be successfully completed to the good of all your people. In your holy name we pray, amen. We now are going to sing a hymn. Uh, the fact that it's a Navy hymn has nothing to do with the type of weather we're having today. But the, the tune is changed from the tune printed in the uh, program. It will be the uh, hymn which many of you know, the familiar Navy tune. The quartet will sing the first stanza and we ask you all to join in on the rest. Please stand for the singing.
With that song, we know we're going to build a library. <laughs> I'm Marie McNeff, the academic dean, and also the chair of the library planning committee. And at this time, I would like to recognize the members of that planning committee and also recognize uh, individuals from the architectural and builder firms of the library. Uh, so first of all, the planning committee, and if you would please stand as I read your names. Uh, President Charles Anderson, Kristen Anderson, Elaine Klein, Larry Crockett, Rob Curtis, Joan Kuntz, Steve Lefebvre, Karen Mateer, Forrest Meyer, Vicki Olson, Mike Ranham, Nancy Stably, David Swanson, Steve Terrian, Dan Terrio, Heather Tatrell. And these people met at 7 o'clock last summer, uh, every week uh, during the month of June. And we even got in, I think, five or six meetings. Uh, you don't realize how many uh, uh, 7 o'clock mornings there are in a week in, uh, in June. Uh, thank you very much. I The architectural firm is BWBR, and uh, I have been informed that we have the following people from that firm, Catherine Leonidas, Lloyd Burquist, Steve Patrick, Don Thomas, and Chuck Knight. And we've had many, many meetings, and we look forward now to making those plans into reality. Thank you. The builder is Krauss Anderson Construction Company, and those representing that company are Barry Yeager and Bill Yeager and Larry Rausch. Are they in the building? Thank you. I want to, rep, uh, to um, introduce to you Pat Kelly, representing Joan Campbell of the Minneapolis City Council with us today also. Thank you, Pat, for being here. Two other people that I want to recognize, many, many years ago, we started talking about the library. Margaret Anderson is with us, former librarian at Augsburg College. Please stand, Margaret. And a second person who chaired that committee, Phil Kwanbeck. Phil. And now I want to introduce to you Alan Hausch, who is a Board of the Regents member and who is going to be introducing some of our donors. Thank you, Marie. I um, am truly excited, but also humbled by the comment that one of our distinguished alums made to me as he was walking in, and he shared with me that today is an answer to many years of prayer how well spoken and how blessed we are to be in the presence of Christ on a day like today. You know, the 21st century uh, campaign or fund is what we've named this, but not more than three years ago, we moved it up to 1998. We never changed the name, but isn't it amazing we're actually breaking ground one year ahead of what we originally expected on this project on our Library and Information Technology Center. Now, how did we do that? 700 people in the Augsburg community, many of you very closely involved in the process, have supported this project to date. And I would just like to recognize some of those people who have been so important by first recognizing Gladys and Claire Strauman, who were the charter co-chairs of our campaign drive for this library. Claire and Gladys, would you please stand? They got us off to a great start, and we've had a wonderful follow-through from so many supporters. But first of all, let me say that we had recognizing today three floors, three separate floors that are designated in, the, in their names in honor. Would Jim and Jean Lindell please stand? And Milton Dor Dorothy Clavin, 
Please stand to be recognized. And Orville and Gertrude Hognander, but I don't believe they're able to be with us because he's not feeling up to it today. But they had hoped to actually be outside and maybe staying in their car while we were doing this. But these gifts allowed us to be here today. And we thank you so sincerely for that commitment and, and we appreciate it. Now we also should point out and thank the Bush Foundation who were very early supporters that got us out of the block very quick and of course the Augsburg Associates who have been right there from day one in helping us get to this point. So we are blessed in many ways and God has blessed us. May we continue on in Christ's name. Thank you, Alan. At this time, I have the privilege of introducing two of our students, uh, each representing a different uh, group of, of students. Tara Cesaretti, student body president. Tara. Good morning. This is an exciting day for the Augsburg community, and especially for the student body. For some time now, intense planning has gone into planning this library and students have been involved in this process. We have seen the revised plans, and we have seen the once again revised plans. But today, our new library and information technology center will become a physical reality. This facility has been carefully designed to serve the needs of the campus. Students will be furnished with a much needed state-of-the-art center for research and study. On behalf of the student body, I would like to thank everyone involved with this project. We appreciate your time, effort, and financial contributions as they represent your dedication to our education. Thank you. Thank you, Tara. And now Steve Johnson, the Weekend College uh, class president. Good morning. As most WEC students live off campus, we don't get the opportunity to utilize the library as much as most day students do. But I believe that the heart of any great in university or college is its library. Today, we will plant a new heart in Augsburg with the hope of continuing its rich history of leadership and service. With technology at its side, it will put Augsburg at the forefront of regional institutions. Without this new library and technology center, Augsburg would have continued to survive but not with the vibrance it will with the new heart of this campus. Thanks to all those who made it possible. Well, this is obviously a very special day for everyone here for all kinds of reasons. Uh, it is the 17th of May, and you don't have to be able to say Sutnamai to recognize that this is the anniversary of Norwegian independence. In fact, if you are Ekta Norsk, that means real, the real stuff type Norwegian, you've probably been to two or three meetings already today. <laughs> I'm glad to see uh, earlier that Frankie Shackelford has a flag in her hair. I thought that was very nice, and I'm glad that we we have one here. This is reason enough to celebrate. I've got all kinds of other things. Uh, today is my mother-in-law's 95th birthday. We scheduled this with that in mind. It's, and, uh, and tomorrow is Kate's birthday. And she will be... <laughs> I was going to give her age, but I'll just say she will have reached my age. We have reason to feel good about all kinds of things. Uh, classes are winding down, commencement is coming up, but uh, especially today, uh, the groundbreaking. Uh, groundbreaking often ties together the past and future of an institution in a very special way. And we do look to 126 years of history of this school and to its libraries, to the allotment of $217 for books made by the church when Augsburg Seminary was founded in 1869. 
uh, to the basement of what is we call Old Main, but I mean it is it was the main at that time, the basement, which part of which was set aside for the library when the whole thing, the library, was run by students. Uh, to the Sverdrup Library, which was built in 1955 when we had 900 students and 72 faculty. It cost $400,000. It's almost unbelievable and you see what inflation means. If we were outside, and we will be shortly, in fact we would be there now, except the, the word was that uh, it was possible that someone might be shocked by uh, running cords over over wet, wet ground, and there are some potential donors in here who haven't contributed yet. I, <laughs> I didn't want any problem like that, but we will be moving out. We will be moving out, and from that vantage point, you can see a good part of the school's history and its buildings. Memorial Hall, just off to our left, built in 1938, was a dormitory, and uh, the refectory, the, the eating area, now it's all offices. Sverdrup Library, 1955, the Music Building in 76, and the Foss Center in 1988. The oldest and newest of our buildings will be beyond our site, Old Main, 1900, and Anderson Hall, 1992. Our history also includes continued efforts to pay for what we do. Programs, people, and facilities, and we are very grateful to all the donors who have helped move us along. We are, as has been noted earlier, in a major fund drive, the 21st Century Fund. Some groundbreaking dates in the past give a snapshot of the progress that you all have made possible. The Foss Center uh, groundbreaking in 1987, there was $11 million pledged or in hand. The Anderson Hall groundbreaking in June 92, it was $39.4 million pledged or in hand. And uh, the library information technology groundbreaking today, there's 55.7 million pledged or in hand. Of this latter amount, 9.6 million in cash and pledges are to the library project, which means we need another 5.4 to complete that particular segment. And in this context, we recognize and thank not only the donors, but also those who have led us. And uh, again, uh, Gladys and Claire, and Alan, that's a major responsibility and a lot of work and we're very grateful. So we do look to the past with thanks and we look to the future with affirmation, hope, confidence, and typically of Augsburg with tenacity. Every groundbreaking, like every wedding, is a statement of hope. We are convinced that this college is doing great work that is of vital importance to the well-being of the church and of the city and to larger communities that reach around the world through our graduates. And as I have told some of our donors, we are asking for a five-year pledge that will be still be paying dividends 100 years from now. In only a few days, the relative quiet and good order of this uh, meeting will be replaced by sounds and activities of demolition and excavation. And in our mechanistic and power-oriented age, some people don't feel that anything happens until the bulldozers and backhoes arrive. But in the years ahead, as you see and visit, it, visit the library, I want you to remember that on May 17, 1996, we all were here. We started the building, all of us, we made it possible. In fact, it's appropriate to look around at the whole school in the same way. New scholarship donors honored recently joined hundreds of others and they can say, we were and are at Augsburg. We support those students. Annual fund donors can say, we are there, teaching in a classroom, heating the rooms, paying the bills. Endowment donors can say, we are there in chapel services and by supporting special students. Building donors can say we are there year after year in the Foss Center, Anderson Hall, the new library, science renovation, the athletic complex. The point is, if you help make something possible, you are there. And we want to thank you today for being here and being here every day. This is a major project. I think the estimated time is about 18 months. 
Uh, we assume and hope, if all goes well, the building will be completed by the fall of 1997 and in use that fall. There will be a dedication, possibly at homecoming or earlier. We hope you can all be with us uh, then. And now before we move outside, uh, avoiding, you'll have to avoid electric wires, there aren't any, uh, there will be opportunity for uh, uh, special groups, and then I suppose anyone who's interested to, uh, to turn a little dirt, but we'll have a brief prayer first. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for all those who have worked and contributed to provide the site and the library to be built upon it. With faith in Jesus Christ, this work has begun, and this ground is now to be broken. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Now you're all invited to go across the way, and we'll try to stay dry, I'm sure we will, and take some pictures. Thank you very much. <laughs>